Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So it is May, May 2021. A lot different from May 2020, that's for sure. So if you've been following my channel for a few years now, you'll know that May is usually when all the fall and Halloween stuff from the big company starts leaking out. Um, and we can start getting our hands on it, um, if you know where to look and all that fun stuff. And um, so here we are, it is May 12th, right? Today is the 11th I'm filming this, so it is May 12th. And I'm finally ready to talk about Yankee Candle Fall, Autumn. And that's because I finally got my hands on one and I able to do my research on a few other ones, sort of, you know, sourcing from around the globe. Um, we can finally say that it is the season and it is great to smell a fall candle, guys. I, even though I love my florals and I love my, my spring and summer scents, more spring than summer scents, um, it is just something about your first whiff of a fall candle for the new year. Um, it's, it's just, it's, it's awesome. Um, so, okay, so... What I can say here is I do have a jar, a jar. Yeah, so we'll go over the label in a minute. But so the theme for this year's Yankee Candle Fall collection is Woodland Road Trip Collection. So last year um, we had the uh, the camping theme there. I'm drawing a blank there, but um, it was something about campfire or, or something like that. But it was... Um, you had under night under the stars, um, Chris campfire apples, um, a few other ones that were just. I thought it was a solid, solid fall collection last year. Um, this year, I've only smelled one. Uh, I'm not too excited over the other ones that I have here that I know about. Um, I mean, some are good, but if you like fruity scents, there. Um, you'll probably like at least one or two of these there. Um, but yeah, so it was, um, Cozy Campfire or something like Cozy, something like that last year. Warm and Cozy was actually a really good scent there. Um, should have done more of my homework because I forget stuff. Anywho, so here we go. So Woodland Road Trip and the, the way that Yankee Candle describes this is it's a shared journey through the woods and the great outdoors with leaves boasting vibrant autumn foliage. Their journey is just as important as the destination, cherishing the time spent together along the way. So last year, because everything was shut down, factories were shut down, stores were closed, uh, I wasn't able to get my hands on any of the new products ahead of time. Like I have in in years past, um, so it was kind of a you know can't fault anybody for that, right? We're in the middle of a pandemic, um, so it was what it was. But it's good to see that we're finally getting back on on normalcy here. So, um, okay, so I show you what this jar and it's a jar, so it's a single wick. So I think what we're going to see is I think I think we're going to see single wicks. And I think we're going to see signature jars. So. Single wicks, and then probably the two wick tumblers. Uh, two wick uh, signature tumblers, probably. Um, I can't imagine they're going to like create every single form. I mean, the two wick signatures are selling like crazy. They're performing amazing. If you haven't tried a signature candle, go give one a shot. I uh, highly recommend them. And, you know, I'm very critical of Yankee. So, here is the jar that I have here. And it is um, Cozy Cabin Escape. Now, look at the label. Love the label it is obviously route 66 inspired here because we have the the highway sign um we have the yankee candle it's a large label right the ones we had like last year they were a little they're they were uh wider than their normal labels but i think like this is probably the widest that we've seen them go since they went to those um thin labels um so does a woodland road trip on here in that awesome Again, retro, sort of Route 66 inspired um, text there, Cozy Cabin Escape. We have two chairs and the autumn foliage next to a fire pit on a deck, right? Um, so there's a brown wax, dark brown wax there. 
there. What I noticed about this is it looks to be a 100% cotton wick. Um, don't see anything that would make me think it was like a, a twisted fiber or whatnot. You can see is this is uh, what they call a seconds candle. Now it is, um, though it is a seconds candle, this one is a little bit different because it does have the normal white label on the bottom and then they slapped on a seconds label. You can see here, here's the normal label, right? And here's the seconds. So all these labels are completely different in the past year. Um, this one says 21 seconds, but normally in the past, in my previous experience, when they do this is, this is a production candle, just cosmetically. Um, you know, there's wax splashed up here. Um, the This is all funky right here. That wouldn't be, look good. And the whole batch that I looked at was like this. Um, and I tried to pick out the best one I could, but the other ones were, were really bad there. You know, the wax is kind of sunken a little bit. Um, ah, the first whiff of a fall candle. All right, we'll go over this in a second here. I just wanted to show you the, the label there. Really, really love that label. And they did take the ounces off. It's another thing. So it doesn't say 22 ounces anymore on the side. They put it on the bottom. So, all right, Farm Fresh Peach. Okay. Fresh scents of peach. Now, mind you, most of these scents here are from the UK. What we get in the US sometimes is the same fragrance. Could be different names. Or we could get a completely different one. Like this Cozy Cabin Escape here is not listed at all over in the UK. So, just take it for what it is. Um... Farm Fresh Peach. Fresh scents of peach, apricot, and vanilla notes blend together, enticing you to sample a local delicacy of, on your woodland road trip. I don't really think peaches as a fall scent, but that's just me. Uh, let's see, the notes on this are green leaves, apricot, and orange, with peach and prune in the middle, and then musk, plum, and vanilla on the bottom. Okay. Then we have Autumn Sunset, and the label on that. Uh, looks to be a bunch of people with a peach on it. Uh, autumn sunset. Again, the perfect spot to experience the last few moments of a glorious autumn sunset with notes of cedarwood, sandalwood, and a hint of sunny citrus aromas. This one sounds really warm and inviting. So the notes on this one are orange, lemon, cedarwood, um, lavender, heliotrope, amber, sandalwood, and oud. So this is going to be a nice, warm inviting scent i think then we have um self-titled woodland road trip fragrance and that is a journey through the fall landscape with enticing scents of jasmine fir vetiver and warm suede notes okay bringing us closer as we travel together so the top notes is green mandarin frosted jasmine white rose interesting mid notes are douglas fir white vetiver clay Ooh, a clay note and sage and the base is madagascar vanilla bean white suede and labdanum labdanum that clay note entices me because that intrigues me that'd be like a, a, a earthy dirt scent that might be the first time they've ever used clay in, in, in the scent note there um that one sounds earthy and cold Right, because Douglas fir, frosted jasmine, and that sage. Okay. And then um, freshly tapped maple. So um, this one says, a stack of pancakes, sweet orange zest scents blend with notes of maple syrup and cinnamon. The perfect way to start your day of exploring the autumn woodland. Okay, and this one says, uh, sweet orange zest, whipped milk, turbinado sugar. Don't know what that is. Bourbon maple sugar. Coconut cream, sugared cinnamon, salted caramel, vanilla bean, and sugared praline. Wow, that sounds sweet. That sounds super sweet. Um, that orange zest might tone it down a little bit. I don't know what turbinado sugar is. Everybody wants to let me know what turbinado sugar is. Go from there. But yeah, bourbon maple sugar. Now, Yankee already has a maple scent here in the United States. It's called New England Maple. <laughs> it's a village exclusive, which there's only one left of now. Uh, but we'll talk about that in another video. 
about the store in Virginia closing. Um, so yeah, if online, you can actually get New England Maple online. I just ordered a bunch of uh, plugins for it there. So that leaves us to this one. This is not on that list. I had no set notes for it. So I am just going to do what I do and tell you what it smells like to my nose. We already went over the label, but at first glance, first uh, sniff, this is a quick sniff rather. This is a warm, inviting um, cabin fragrance. It's, it's a warm fall fragrance. Okay, it is the epitome of cozy cabin escape. Uh, the scent at quick glance, quick smell is the name. So we get a little bit deeper in here. There is a coffee bean note in here, like a mocha coffee, um, hazelnut coffee note a little bit in here. But there is apple. There is fresh tart apple in here. Um, the apple note blends with the coffee really well. And there is some other like, um, like uh, spices, like clove, warming spices like that, a little simmering going on but not heavily spiced just warm just a, a nice simmer warm clove maybe if you're you know warming up a pot of uh, something on the stove there potpourri almost but that apple note in here um a very unique apple scent and yankee does apple fragrances great so that is what i have for you here if i get my hands on some of these other ones i will certainly come back and Give you my first impression. I'm thinking, uh, based on years past, we're going to see these right around semi-annual sale. So last year and the year before, they did come out earlier. Normally, they were end of July or end of June, right in the early July. Um, but this year, I think we're going to see them hopefully earlier than that. Um, we have Christmas coming up. We have Halloween coming up. Yankee. We are already, uh, I'll do a video on Kringle's Halloween. There's a lot going on in Kringle for Halloween. Um, I don't know about the other companies, but I do know that. Um, Yankee Halloween, hopefully. Um, pandemic permitting, going to get back up to the village for launch. So we'll see what's going on there. Um, and if Kringle, I'm hoping Kringle does a launch. Uh, get up there hopefully it's the same weekend <laughs> kill two birds with one stone so all right guys thanks for watching this is again cozy cabin escape with an awesome label um if they do in the two wick tumblers expect this label not to be the same as they'll probably stick to the whole signature watercolor deal so all right guys thanks for watching i'll see y'all real soon have a good one stay safe